Welcome to today's edition of the Anaglyph Jukebox. You never know what you'll find on the old jukebox. Let's press B31. Okay, we've got Steve Canyon by Milt Kniff in color and 3D. Jukebox knows his audience of free thinkers and anarchists will find this hard to believe, but once, long ago in America, newspaper strip cartoonists were as popular as rock stars. Okay, newspapers are what you see people reading in old black and white movies. Cartoon strips were a series of small, rectangular panels filled with ink. On October 27, 1975, lanky, sweaty, young New Jersey rocker Bruce Springsteen was famously on the covers of both Time and Newsweek magazines in the same week. Steve Canyon had scored those same covers decades ago, though not in the same week, Time 1947 and Newsweek 1950. Canyon ran from January 13, 1947 until June 8, 1988. Born to run Springsteen, is still running with tramps like us at age 72 on a highway jammed with broken heroes on a last chance power drive. Steve Canyon was the creator-owned strip that Milt Kniff debuted in 1947 after leaving his work-for-hire position on Terry and the Pirates. Terry, et al., was wholly owned by Captain Joseph Patterson and his Chicago Tribune newspaper syndicate. And don't take no pirates with you as you walk out the door, Mr. Kniff. The 1950s and 60s saw the height of the strip's popularity. Back then, a portion of the American public could actually read. Not like today, obviously. Ordinary people could follow a 12-week continuity that ran from Monday through Saturday in a black and white strip and included a glorious half-page in color on Sunday. Steve Canyon was so popular that he was adapted loosely for a 1958-1959 television series, 34 half-hour episodes in black and white, starring Dean Fedricks as Canyon. You can find some on YouTube. And say, is that the future Dr. Leonard Bones McCoy of the USS Enterprise, DeForest Kelly, as Radar Major? As he had done in Terry, Kenneth populated his strip with colorful supporting characters, sometimes based on real people. Examples include Miss Mizzou, modeled on Marilyn Monroe, and Pipper the Piper, after John F. Kennedy. Charlie Vanilla, ice cream cone in hand, was based on Kenneth's good friend Charles Rushorn, an Air Force lieutenant, photographer, and technical advisor on five James Bond films. In a move worthy of the Marvel metaverse, Kniff based a character, Madame Lynx, on the femme fatale spy character Madame Igalici, played by Ilona Massey in the Marx Brothers' 13th and final feature film, Love Happy, 1949. Kniff was photographed using Miss Massey as a live model to some public fanfare, so the jukebox has to wonder, where's the gap? Was it all prearranged in advance for publicity? Publicity helped sell newspapers, and newspapers, remember them, was where Steve Canyon lived. 